Hello friends. Today we are going to address how to explain puberty based changes to an autistic child. This video has been requested to me many times in the comment section below and today I will address it. Just to make you understand, usually the boy's puberty begins between 9 and 12 years of age while for girls it is usually between 8 and 11 years of age. Step number one would be how to explain the physical changes that are going to happen to their bodies, both for boys and girls. Best way, they are visual learners. Show them pictures of how the body structure changes between ages. To give them a better reference and better context, you can show your own pictures as parents or if they have an older sibling so that they can say how they used to look when they were younger and how their body has changed over time. Second thing, address the voice change that happens. For boys, it is a major adjustment because they were used to a sound. They knew how they sounded and now it has changed completely. But if they are prepared that your sound will change over time and it's okay, it's part of growing up, they'll be able to understand better. Third thing, it is important to explain to them what being an adult means. You have grown up, you are big now. That is a very abstract idea. Instead, tell them exactly what is going to happen in your normal language that you use, the usual terms that you use. In case of girls, for example, you can explain about how there will be some private parts, how there will be changes in their breasts, how the body pattern or the hair pattern is going to change, how they may have acne for some time on their face and it will go away eventually. So preparing them for that how they are going to have start of periods. So you can start explaining what really being private means. We are going to close the door. That makes it private for using washroom, for changing your clothes, for checking yourself whether you have periods right now or not. Show them a calendar so they can, they can mark a number. They have number concept. With that date, they can recognize when periods are going to happen. And based on that, you can show them how hygiene is carried out. As for boys, it's not just the voice that changes, but their body is also changing with changes in their penis, the enlargement. Then the pattern of hair distribution on their body changes with specific emphasis on the facial hair. Then it's okay to explain to your child, sometimes when you get up, you are going to be wet. It's all right. It is part of growing up. We can go and wash later. Three main things can really help you here. First, as I mentioned before, use literal language and not abstract ideas. Secondly, it is important that if social settings are where they ask sort of inappropriate questions, give them a positive answer by saying, we will look it up together when we reach home and do address it so that their curiosity does not increase unnecessarily. And third, social stories. In social stories, for example, a girl, her date of periods is about to come for the month. So you can mark it on the calendar so she can check the number. She can keep the necessary requirements in her bag. For example, she is attending school. It is easier to manage. And if there is a situation where there is pain associated, she can stay home for that day. As the sensory demands of a child can increase during this time of puberty or even during the pre-puberty phase, I will address it in the next video. So do watch it and like this video if you found it informative. Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to autism awareness and child development. Ring the bell icon for notifications and we'll meet again soon. Bye.